Hi, I'd like to talk to you about some of the products we make here at Jetwave Industrial Equipment. This is one of our custom made machines. This is a diesel driven hot and cold water pressure wash running at 3000 psi, 21 litres a minute. This particular unit is going up to Foxy Mines in far north Queensland as what we class as a mine spec machine which is compliant to their requirements. The trailer we're using here is a tandem axle Duragal galvanised trailer running on 8 ply lightweight truck tyres and on rocker leaf suspension. The unit has a 1300 litre poly tank. Within the poly tank we have fitted a float system which allows for protection to the pump so if the tank was to ever run dry during operation it will shut down the engine and not allow the pump to run dry. Incorporated within the galvanised skid frame we have the battery box to protect the battery obviously but also to have the ability to have a reset and to show a charge indicator. The engines that we use at Jetwave with our diesel units, we use the Yamaha water-cooled three-cylinder diesels. This particular unit is 31 horsepower. This engine is of choice purely because over air-cooled twin-cylinder diesels, it offers better fuel economy, less vibration and longer life. Just to add to that uh, vibration control, you'll see underneath the galvanised skid frame, you'll see the uh, vibration rubbers. These are positioned around the frame and this also helps control some of that vibration. Also with the diesel unit you'll see fitted here is the side load kit. This is factory fitted by Yanmar. This is to uh, create some protection for the engine bearings and reduce the load. One of the neat accessories that go with these units, we use these heavy duty hose reels. This particular unit is fitted with 38 double wire braid hose. It has the capacity to hold 120 metres. This particular unit has 60 metres. You'll see the positioning of the uh, wind out rewind handles and from a service point of view the, the grease nipple in the bearing hub. Another neat feature of these hose rules is the stainless steel guide rolls. The operator can pull the hose at 90 degrees of the hose reel and still be able to pull the hose out tangle free. If you have a look down the side here on the hose reel, you'll see the heavy duty swivel complete with service point and grease nipples and also the spring loaded pin lock for 24 point lock and pin on the hose reel so you can reel out whatever length of hose you require and lock it back into place and you've got a nice sturdy lock. Just below the uh, swivel on the hose reel we have here the cam injector. This is for uh, sucking up truck wash degreases or detergents as required and this can be applied under low pressure which is adjustable on the gun. Also to adjust the flow rate of that chemical or truck wash you can adjust the flow here on the chem injector. As mentioned this machine had to be mine compliant to their requirements. Uh, one of the requirements was it had to have a battery and starter isolator and most importantly emergency stop. With the Yanmar control box, obviously you've got the ignition barrel here for the key start and stop. Also has for the engine protection. It demonstrates and shows the TACO and RPM readout in digital, the time of stop, battery voltage, the engine hours, pump pressure, and also has the safety low water, low oil indicators. On top of the frame is mounted an LED flashing beacon light and also 360 degree swivel LED night work lights. To keep everything in one spot we have mounted here also you'll notice on the vibration rubbers for the control panel directly above that is the control panel for the burner. This is a hot and cold pressure wash so it can be used in either hot or cold but to turn the burner on and create the hot water it's a matter of turning on the burner and thermostatically setting your thermostat which allows the burner to cut in and out thermostatically to maintain the working temperature you require. The pump is an interpump, ceramic piston triple X pump with a nickel coated brass pump head. This is a 3000 psi at 21 litres per minute. You'll see how the pump is mounted and belt driven. Uh, from a service point of view, uh, easy access to the jacking bolts to maintain tension on the belts. 
we have here the K1 brass bypass valve and pressure gauge to show the working pressure. This is the second of the hose rules. This is for the supply hose feeding into the poly water tank. This is holding approximately 60 metres of 3 quarter inch low pressure hose. Rather than direct feeding directly into the poly tank, we run through this clear cartridge water filter. It's a washable and reusable cartridge. You can visually see what's happening within the filter and service as required. One of the last requirements from this customer to be mine compliant, this has had to be fitted with a 12 volt transformer and 12 volt blower motor. This is again unique to the, what we class as a mine spec unit. Uh, we also have the 240 volt option from, from Jetwave. Incorporated in the skid frame of course is the diesel fuel tank. This contains 62 litres of diesel. This feeds directly both to the engine and the burner. To assist with transport and controlling the weight of the whole combined unit, we have here a quick release ball valve, which allows you to dump the water back to the ground. One thing you'll notice on this particular trailer it has the extended A-frame. Uh, this has allowed us to carry the toolbox directly over the A-frame and not consume any room over the deck space. Uh, within the toolbox, They'll be carrying their safety equipment, their standard appliances, and also houses inside the toolbox. You see electric override brake system. You can see here the standard accessories, which is the twin, twin lance over the Vega pistol. This allows for high and low pressure control. Turbo nozzle. And this is also a straight jet or a zero nozzle lance. And to finish off with the safety features is the safety Brady cones, the high vis vests, safety helmets, and of course the first aid box.